What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So my SDCC Funko Pops are finally here. And as you can see, this box is literally half the size of me. We have like 20 something Funko Pops in here. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today we do have an unboxing video and we're gonna be unboxing all of my SDCC 2022 Funko Pops. If you guys don't know, I did actually go to the event this year and I bought a bunch of different pops from the Funko booth at Funkoville and they just got here a couple days ago. Now I do wanna thank the folks over at Chow's Collectibles for helping me get these all the way back to Florida. I really do appreciate you guys shipping them. So really quick, we do have our question of the day and that is, are you looking forward to New York Comic Con this year? Are you going to the event are you going to be shopping on the website or buying the shared exclusives at the store? Let me know if you guys are looking forward to it because I know NYCC is kind of starting off a little rough. We're already having leaks out. We may have sticker complications as well. So I am curious how everybody's kind of feeling going into NYCC next month. Something I realized is this box is way too big to actually try to reach over and grab in. So I'm just going to leave it on the floor and just kind of dive in and grab something one by one for you guys. And if you don't know, I haven't actually unboxed any of these exclusives. Usually you guys would see a bunch of unboxing videos from me of Itadori, all the anime pops basically, Marvel, everything like that. But this year I had to have them shipped back because I went to the event. Okay, so let me open up the box, see what's going on here. This box literally weighs like 20 pounds. I'm not even kidding. It's like 20 pounds. It's insanity. All right, let's get this bad boy open. I got to jump off camera for a second. All right. All right, guys. So our first exclusive is Queen Historia. Oh, she's a great looking pop. Oh, that's really awesome. Is the pop itself messed up or is that the protector? Let me let me double check that. Okay, yeah, that was just the protector. Sweet. So, I was actually able to get official Comic-Con stickers this year, which is really cool. I don't mind the share, but, you know, if you're going to the event, you might as well buy everything you can. So, Queen Historia, I did unbox this one a while back, but I'll show you guys it out of box uh, for you guys, but I'm not going to unbox it today um, for myself. Now, we also did have Chocho here. This one's a really great one. I feel like this was a missed opportunity for Glow in the Dark, though, I won't lie. Uh, let me take her out of box, though, and check her out. Uh, because her wings would have been so great, and they already look like translucent, and like they look like they have glow paint on them. They don't, but they do. Um, they do look like that. So taking her out of box here and looking at her, guys, she's actually a really cool looking pop. This one's really cool. The wing detail is really awesome on this one. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I love this one. That's awesome. Definitely better than the common version. Now, our next one is the Purge Trooper. This is a Star Wars exclusive from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, this is really cool. So I actually picked this one up for somebody else, not for myself. You guys know I'm not a big Star Wars person, but I will show you guys out of box. I'm actually kind of curious myself uh, what it does look like out of box here. So let me uh, open this one up really quick. See if I can get it out. They make so many of these troopers. I really feel like we're gonna get another trooper for um, New York Comic Con. I think it was the artillery trooper. That one has not been made yet. So for any Star Wars fans, we could see that for NYCC because uh, they always seem to make at least one trooper. This is a huge base stand. But the all black and red pops, or the red details on this looks amazing. This is a really awesome purge trooper. Nice. Next up, we do have the Toucan here. This is the one where he does actually have the guitar in hand, and then they also do have a pirate one. I believe it has a little bit of an SDCC kind of amp that he's standing on, which is really neat. So let's take this one out. This is pretty cool. So if you don't know, this is basically their mascot pop. They usually have at least one mascot pop um, for each event, like the Crusaderettes are for ECCC, and then uh, the Pigeons and the Rats, Pizza Rat, are for NYCC. So we'll probably see another iteration of that. That's really cool, though. I like that the stand's kind of attached to it. Oh, that's really neat. Very thin pop. Does it stand okay, though? Oh, it's a little wobbly because the amp is a little back heavy, but still, that's a really cool exclusive. They did a good job with this one this year. Moving on, we do have Scarlet Scarab here from Moon Knight. This is a really good one. Love the wings. That's so freaking cool. The colors are really awesome on this as well. Funny enough, this was the first SDCC exclusive that they did actually announce during the, uh, when Moon Knight was actually coming out, all the episodes, they kind of teased that this was going to be an SDCC exclusive. So taking her out of box here, she actually looks really awesome. This is pretty cool. Her hair detail is really awesome. The swords in the wings looks great. I love the kind of like bronze gold color they have going here. And then the red and blue kind of like accents. This is an awesome one. This one looks really, really good, guys. Let me know if you guys picked this one up and if you enjoyed the Moon Knight show. All right, we also do have Croissant here. I call him Croissant because I can't say his name. Croissantin, it's something like that. Croissantin, 
I don't know. Anyways, also purchase this for somebody else to help them out because they wanted the exclusive. Uh, just a couple of these actually. I think I bought like eight or nine of them for other people and then the rest are for myself. Um, I figured while I was there I could definitely try to help some because like Bailey needed one and then Captain Pops, he needed some of the bigger 10 inch pops and then uh, two other people needed some stuff. So I just, I just picked them up for them while I was there. I wish I could do pickups for everybody, I really do, but I was also trying to enjoy the event as well because it was my first time there. But this one is actually pretty cool. So it's a Flocked exclusive. I believe it was shared with Walmart if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this one looks great. Definitely one of the more popular ones as well. Oh, they did a great job on this one. Even the little teeth, that's awesome. Captured a lot of emotion. Oh no, what in the world? That's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but one of his, uh, like one of the pieces of the hair is missing back there. It's on the other side. That's a weird little error. It like stuck to the other side or maybe somebody glued it wrong. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a bummer. Got a little bit of an error pop. Kind of damage, that sucks. Oh, wait, never mind, it's in the box. <laughs> it's literally in the box. You could probably glue that back in. I'll have to let the person know. Wait, it might just stick back in. Oh, it just sticks back in. Never mind, we're good. All right, getting deeper into the box, we do have Starfire here. Now, this is one of the ones that was for me. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Oh, she looks awesome. Look, wait, is she missing some of her flames? I can't tell. I swear I remember having, her having more flames. Hold on, we gotta inspect this one. I hope this one's not broken too. She should have more. Oh, no, 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 it's just on the side, okay. Because I thought it was like a full flame aura around her, but it's just on the side. I was a little worried there. I was like, no, we have a second broken pop. What in the world? So the funny thing about this Comic-Con haul is that I got a lot of the exclusives that I wanted, so I'm really, really appreciative of that, especially with the official sticker. Really awesome there. I missed out on Inmu though, because of all the stock issues they were having there. I also found out, this is what I found out, that um, they didn't put silk in my order either. You, I don't know if you guys watched the video. Whoever watched the video, if you go back in the video, I clearly marked a huge line through silk, and they didn't give me that one either. I don't know if they were sold out, I don't know if they were having stock issues, but I didn't get that one either, and that was one of the ones that I really wanted for the Spider-Man collection. So, luckily, luckily enough, you guys will probably see this in a video later, or actually, I might just go downstairs and grab them really quick, but uh, I bought an Inmu from a friend, uh, Savage, over on Whatnot. Anyways, though, he actually put a Silk in that same order when I bought the Inmu with the Con sticker, which was really awesome of him. So, we were able to get everything, we just had to spend a little bit of money. <laughs> Anyways, though, getting back to Starfire here, we do have Starfire with some beams in her hand, which is really cool. This is such a missed opportunity for a glow-in-the-dark pop as well. Actually, you know what's funny? Looking at the base stand now, I don't love how they molded her. She looks a lot bigger in the glams than she does actually in person. She's a lot actually, she's she's a lot smaller in person, I won't lie. She is a lot smaller. That's okay though, the pop itself turned out really awesome, and I do hope they make a glow-in-the-dark one in the future. Given this is a Comic-Con mold, we'll probably not see this exact mold as glow-in-the-dark, but you never know with Funko, they'd really do anything these days. All right, another one, we do have Anastasia here. Now this is Bailey's pop that I grabbed for her. I just realized, oh, they did a messy sticker swap here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on this one. This is a messy sticker swap, oh my gosh. I do believe they're going to be coming out uh, with more pops, more pops for this line, and she's actually really awesome. This is so cool. The diamond collection all over, the crown is all, I think that's a crown at least. That's awesome, the gold, the pink, the blue sash, and then the yellow like sleeves. They did a really great job on this one. Really, really beautiful pop. All right, our next one is, oh, it's actually Hawks. I forgot that they wanted to include this in the package. They threw in one of their new Hawks exclusives. This is really awesome. So this is the one where he uh, has the feather in hand in the attacking pose, which is great. So I'll probably unbox this for a video later on for you guys, but I wanted to let you know that I did actually get this one because some people were asking me if I got it. Uh, I unboxed the regular Hawks though, if you guys want to see in a past Funko Bop hunt. All right, let's see, what else did we get? We got, ooh, okay, this is one of the good ones. We do have Itadori here. So I'm glad I was actually at the event and able to get into the lottery, which was awesome, because if not, then I would have missed all the shared exclusives online because I didn't even wake up for the shared exclusives. I don't know if I mentioned that, but like the day of the, um, the online drop, I didn't even get up. Like the time zone was so different for me. No way I was getting up at 6 a.m. It just wasn't. I feel so bad for the West Coast. I can't do 6 a.m. drop. That's horrible. Unless I'm like getting up to line up somewhere maybe. Even then, I don't really like lining up that early. Here we do have Itadori here with the blade. This one's really cool. Slaughter Demon. That is such a name. That is quite the name. 
This is really awesome. So the first official Jujutsu Kaisen Pop to release, the rest are coming in January for those wondering. I'm sure I'm going to get at least one question. Um, everything's just so delayed lately, it's so crazy. But at least we have this one to hold, our, uh, hold us over, which is awesome. Alright, so let's take this one out of the box. Definitely one of the cooler ones this year. And I am kind of curious if the rumors or leaks will be true if we get another Itadori NYCC. I hope not, because we definitely don't need that. He Interesting, he actually has a base stand. He's wobbly when he stands, but he can stand, but he is a little wobbly. But this one's really awesome. So Itadori in an attacking pose. They got a lot of the details on the face and the eyebrows. The hair detail looks awesome. And then the shaved uh, back of the head, pretty cool. And the hand like this with the knife. Shoes look really great. They did a really great job on this one. I like this one. Next up, we do have... Oh, I'm so glad I was able to get this one. We do have the Spider-Man 2099 Gamerverse. And it has that Beyond Amazing Collection sticker. That's actually the first time I've received this sticker. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so awesome. This is one of the ones that probably in my top three that I wanted. Because this is so freaking cool. And I love the 2099 suit. I have every single pop of it. And I even have the uh, original Walgreens one. I almost said GameStop, but Walgreens. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Oh, I'm so excited to open this one. Basically, it is the same style. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is just a white and like red and black suit version instead of blue and red. I don't know if this suit's like stronger in the comics. I just really like the design of it, but I don't really know much about the white suit. So if anybody is a comic book person, please do let me know. I haven't looked into it just yet. yet. But this, oh, this is so cool. I love... This is what I love that they did. They actually added the uh, things on his wrist. They actually protruded them out versus just basically designing them onto it. It looks so much better like this. So this is definitely already a better pop than the originals. All right, now we have our other toucan. This is the pirate one where he does have the wooden sword. This is a pretty cool one. Has a little bit of weight to him. Oh, so he has his, he has his uh, hand behind his back like this and then one sword out like that, like he's getting ready to duel. And the eye patch is really cool. And the SDCC logo on the hat, that's so awesome. Skull on the belt. They did a great job on this one. They, both of these mascots this year were awesome. All right, the other one we did have, oh, I forgot about Gran Torino. This was one of the ones as well. I like his character, especially his pop. It turned out so well. I completely forgot about this anime pop. Oh, mine's crunched though on the bottom. That's unfortunate. So Gran Torino, I can't believe I forgot about this one. I, I was like, I knew there was like one more anime pop, but I couldn't place my, uh, my finger on it. So this is a great one. I'm actually really excited that <laughs> um, I pulled this out of there. So the one thing I really like about his pop is the fact that basically, obviously, you know, with his quirk, he's very quick. He jumps around, basically launches himself. And they actually made the base stand where he was launching himself off with like dust kind of around his feet or just dirt or basically just wind or something. I might actually keep this one out of box, maybe once I get the new shelf, because I'm getting like another shelf. I think I'm going to put it over there, and I want to display some of the My Hero out of box, as well as maybe Naruto. So we'll see how that kind of goes. Either way, this one's awesome. Oh, it's our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Leonardo here with a Toy Tokyo one. Funny enough, I didn't realize there was a back to the paper. Listen, I'm an SDCC rookie, okay? I've never been to the event before. They had the little newspapers. I didn't know there was a last page, so I didn't order the last turtle that I needed, and I forgot about the exclusives on the back. <laughs> Listen, I was amazed I was able to get all this, okay? So I'm not complaining, but we got one of the turtles, and I might pick up the other one with the uh, SDCC sticker eventually. I think it has the SDCC sticker, I think. This, oh, this turtle. Oh, this is so freaking cool. What a cool collab, to be honest. Like, nothing I ever expected that was out there. And this is the great thing about Funko Pops. They always surprise you with something new. And I love that about Funko. Probably my favorite thing about them. Um, definitely one of the more fun things. Oh, this is sick, though. Blue is a great choice. Uh, the Blue Ranger. This is really, really awesome. Now, we do have some Pops in sorter boxes. I have no idea what these are. Oh, they sent me... Oh, okay, so this is another Hawks, so they sent me two, and then this is actually my Super Sonic. Really excited about this one. I, uh, I wanted at least one Sonic Pop in the collection, so this is definitely a great start. This is actually one of the one of the few times that I actually do like the base hand because of the pose it gives him, like the power pose, essentially. And this one's glow in the dark, so I'll definitely uh, be checking out that glow. Again, you guys have seen it a million times, but I'll probably just pop up a picture for you. Anyways, though, this is awesome. The pop itself is kind of dirty. I think i got to clean it. It has some, like, dirt marks. Anyways, though, this this turned out really awesome. A couple more of the pops here. We do have Cassian, Ted Lasso, and Charmander here. These are pretty cool. All right, so let's take out Cassian. 
Another one that was not for me. I don't know too much about his character, but he does look pretty neat. All right, taking him out of box really quick for you guys. I know I have a lot of Star Wars fans on the channel. Surprisingly enough, I know I do a lot of anime here, but I do have a lot of Star Wars fans, so anywhere I can give you guys Star Wars content, I do try. This one's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, he has a neat little attire. That's awesome. The beard. I wish I could grow a beard. I can't. I can't. I've tried multiple times. It just doesn't happen for me. I don't think a beard is in store for me in this life, so I don't know. <laughs> Here we do have Ted Lasso. Now, not a show I've seen, but I do really like this actor. He's a great guy, um, great actor. I loved him in Horrible Bosses, as well as uh, We're the Millers. I don't know if anybody has seen either one of those movies. Kind of like raunchy comedies, but those movies, they're so funny, especially We're the Millers. Love him in that. And I heard really good things about this show, so I'll definitely check it out in the future. And they're having more pops coming, and we may even have another exclusive for NYCC, so we'll see what happens. But we do have a Ted Lasso chase coming in the future, that Funko tease at SCCC, actually. Oh, he's a tiny pop. But basically, just Ted Lasso kind of in his casual attire there. Colors are pretty good. Paint job's a little rough on this one, but... Overall, again, just kind of basic Ted Lasso. Now here we do have Metallic Charmander, probably one of the hottest exclusives there that kept selling out. He is a tiny little guy in this box. He is not even half the size of this Funko Pop box. That is crazy. Again, this one's like $130 pop right now. I don't know how long he'll stay in the collection, but I do have a little bit of a Pokemon collection going, so I figured why not pick him up. So, let's take him out. There's not much different about this. I don't, actually, I don't even know if I really need to unbox this one. <laughs> I've seen Charmander out of box and it's literally same pop, just metallic. Though the metallic and like shiny look to him does look really awesome, especially, well, I don't think they did it to the tail, but with the tail, uh, the flame on the tail with the metallic, it does look pretty nice. So, this one turned out really well. He's just, God, he's literally so tiny. It's not even funny. This, you couldn't even actually call this a Funko Pop. Now that I mention it, actually, he is, the mini is taller than him, just, no way. Okay, so they're about the same size, but you, this is basically a Funko Mini, not a Funko Pop. They, sh they cannot justify a $15 price for this. This should be $8. All right, guys, I think all we have left is our 10-inch Pops here. So, if you don't know Captain Pops, he is the giant 10-inch Pop collector. He has pretty much all of them, so he wanted some official stickers. Uh, as, uh, as well with the shares, so he's trying to collect all the sticker variants too. So, I figured I would do my best to help there. Alright. Oh boy. Okay. So this one is the 10 inch Unicron here. Oh no, I think the box kind of came apart. Did it come apart? Oh no, this, the glue came up. Funko! Come on, I can't win with you. You're giving me a bunch of damage pops. What is this? Literally, check that out, guys. Wait, was it glued? Yeah, it was glued. There's supposed to be glue on there. What a pop. Come on. I, I just, SDCC this year for me with the pops. I just, like, all the news videos went great. All the videos just getting the actual pops. A bunch of these are damaged. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Again, I was still blessed to go and be able to get as much as I could, so I'm happy with it. I'm just bummed because I got this for somebody else, and... I guess we're going to have to do some glue maintenance on this one. I'm worried about pulling this out and damaging the box more. I'm not going to open this one because I feel like it's going to tear the box if I try to pull out the insert. So I'm just going to leave this one as is. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Probably throw it in a... I have a 10-inch pop protector for this, but I'll just give you guys a close-up. It's a really awesome one, and I'm sure you guys have already seen it by now, but... Yeah, that's... It's like... It's like Velcro over there almost. What is going on there? It's so crazy. I don't know. I'm gonna put him over here, though. <laughs> Good lord. Our last one we do have is the giant Miss Minutes here. She was actually there signing. I didn't realize, but she was actually there signing. Now, this one has an insane glow. An insane glow for a 10-inch pop. I won't even lie. This... This one's awesome. Now this one we can't take out of the box. We've seen Miss Minutes in the little, like the pop and buddy situation, but this one is just crazy. So, let's, uh, let's open this up. Woo. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just, now nah, we'll put a box under here so I don't accidentally kick it. Whoa, what is that? Look at all that, what is that? All right, jeez, she's huge. 
That's what she said, but... Good Lord! That's a lot of plastic. Wow, that's kind of creepy, actually. You guys see that thing? It's as big as my head! Check that out. Really awesome though. Well guys, that was finally my SCCC 2022 Funko Pop haul. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below what you guys ended up picking up from SDCC. I know we're about a month and almost 10 days from SDCC at this point, but I wanted to put out the video for those who were interested in asking about it. Thank you again so much for watching, though. With that, though, I do want to say a big shout-out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, link is down below. We do have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also do have a Facebook group with over 14,000 members. That's by Sell and Trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias, all Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.